again. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy and subscribe. So I am here today to go over my One Book July preparation for week 28. I know I, I said something in my flip through from week 27. I'm thinking I'm ahead, but this is what my iCal says. When I look at it, it says it's week 28 coming up on July 5th. So if I'm wrong, can one of you comment down below and let me know? Because I may be ending my year a lot sooner than all of you guys. So week 28, I decided, well, I didn't decide. It was decided for me because silly me totally forget forgot to get um, refills for my tape. So I was not able to tape this page down. So invention, I decided to tip in two vellums. So the first vellum, I went with a quote, and this is to remind me that comparing myself to others and feeling inadequate is not productive. So the quote says, don't compare yourself to others. There is no comparison be between the sun and the moon. They shine when it's their time. I cannot tell you how inadequate. <laughs> It's too strong of a word, but kind of how I feel. I have been feeling the past week because I have not been able to make things work in this planner. And so many of you have so many beautiful spreads in that planner. I've also been stressed out over subscriptions and how many subscribers I have. And I, that's not me. I don't understand what is going on and why that's become so important. So I need to take a step back, breathe, and remind myself that comparing myself to others is just not productive. So that's my quote. So this is week 28. Let me know if I'm wrong. And then the next page, I just have my little calendar. I'm not sure if I'm going to print some stickers and put them here like I did last month, but for now, this is working. My week, I decided to go with something that I was going to try back in June. So what I do is I'm gonna have Monday through Saturday up at the top, Sunday, down in a, so the weekend is in a column, the rest of the weekdays are horizontal. Then I'm gonna have my tasks for the week, my dinners, what's coming up next week, my cleaning schedule, and I'll have to decide when I'm gonna be doing it. And then the way I'm working out the weeks is the first three, um, what is this called? First three lines, rows, are gonna be for important stuff and appointments. So like my library work, uh, bills that are due, uh, birthdays coming up. So that's the three, the top three, I guess you can call it. The bottom of each week is just gonna be for my to-dos. Um, as you know, I designed and printed, and it, they are in my shop right now, I did small weather icons, because you know I love to track the weather. So those, I'm going to put them up at the top. I did that last week, so I can show you like this. So they fit perfectly and that's why I moved the words and the, the date dots over to the side. Also these I designed myself also and 
and I'm not sure if I have them in the shop. Let me know if you let me know below in the comments if you like them and if you're interested in me printing and putting them in the shop, I'll be more than happy to do that. Um, yeah, so that's my simple week. The plan is, and then here's my summary of the week, the good, the reading, watching, and listening, and I'll fill in, fill this in at the end of the week. Instead of having, like I did here, thoughts, I'm not going to do thoughts. I'm just going to do good, reading, watching, listening, and here I'll put in some thoughts about the week. And then I already put in the uh, the Good Neighborhood book, which is a book that I'm reading for the book club, which is meeting on the 23rd. So I know I need to finish this book ASAP, and then I need to write my thoughts in like I'm doing with the one that I'm reading, The Order, Daniel Silva's book. So that's the the skeleton of my week. What I thought I would do was show you how I go about planning my week. So you could see how I go about putting the information into my planner so I feel organized and prepared. So what I do is a few years ago, I bought I bought this notepad. It's, I think I got it at Staples, maybe at Office Depot. Does Office Depot even still exist? And then what I do is when I sit down to plan my week, I label what week it is. I write down, I go through my calendar and I write down anniversaries, birthdays, Laura's birthday's coming up. Send her a lot of love. Birthdays, bills that are due, um, work. Oh, I forgot work on Friday. So, okay. And I just roughly schedule it. Usually I also put in what dinners I'm having on each of the days because I do this after speaking with my husband about what it is that we're, where we're going to be for dinners. Is it going to be home? Do I have to cook for two? Do I just have to cook for me? Whatever. But we haven't had a chance to do that this week yet. So there are no dinners here. I use my Muji pen in 0.38 as just to write this information and to write this information. And then I just transfer it. Oh, and then what I, the other thing I also started doing, and I just started doing it this week is have a next week or coming up so I can keep my eye on what's coming up next week. So if you notice in my planner, I put in a little sticker up here that says coming up. And right here is where I'm going to write down these three things that are coming up next week because I need to keep an eye out. Like I know I need to, my mother-in-law's birthday is coming up. So that means that sometime this week, I'm gonna have to send her card out. She's in Florida. So let me go off camera, put in all the information, and I will be back shortly.
and I'm back. So my week is set up. I'm in the library Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have a bill due. Um, you know what? Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of the dots that I have in the shop. And these are green, but I think I'm going to do them a little bit greener because I can't really tell. Sorry, my husband wanted my attention and I don't know where he is. So I think I need them to be a little greener, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them next to the bills that'll do. Does that look right? It doesn't, but I'm gonna leave them there just to make sure. And that's the only bill I have. No. That is the only bill I have next week, so awesome. And that's, that's all I do for my week. So these dots, like I said, they're in my, they're in my shop. Um, I'm looking to post more different colors, maybe a pinkish because usually pink is always my color to designate me and maybe a blue one for my husband because that one is always, that color is always him so I know when he's doing what. Um, but yeah, so this is my week. I'm set for next week. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a daily or if this is going to be sufficient, but if it's not, then the plan is to just do the same thing I did with these days. So put in the date, put in the date, and move on. I, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Leave me a message. Leave me a thumbs up. And I hope you subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye.